Okay, right. What we are now going to discuss, still on the topic of high voltage, is something called Townsend's first ionization coefficient. Okay, right. So let's first start off by looking at uh, figure 1.1. Obviously, we don't know what it is, so we'll have to figure that out as we move along. We'll see there's what is known as a parallel plate capacitor. Parallel plate capacitor, what does that mean? It means one plate, it's charged at a higher level relative to the other plate okay right so here you have let's suppose these are conductors let's suppose that these are your plates let's suppose one of the two plates it's charged higher than relative to the other one in this case you have plate a and plate c and then they have a distance d okay and then somewhere in between there's this region and then the spacing of this region will be referred to as dx, whatever that is, okay? Right. So now, what do we know? We know that d is what distance. dx, it simply means a tiny amount of distance. If we say dy dx, we mean a very small unit of y as a function of x or relative to x. So dy dx, it means a very small unit of y, a very small unit of x. That essentially is what it means. In this case, dx means what? A very small unit of x, whatever x is, that region. Okay, right. Consider a parallel plate capacitor having gas as an insulating medium. Insulating medium simply means what? You are separating your positive from your negative or your high charge from your low charge. And that separation is what? Gas. Okay. And it is separated by a distance d, as shown in figure 1.1. When no electric field is set up between the plates, a state of equal... When no electric field is set up between the plates, simply meaning there is no positive negative charge, okay? A state of equilibrium exists between the state of electron and positive ion generation due to the decay process. This state of equilibrium will be disturbed moment a high electric field is applied. So this disturbed the moment a high electric field is applied. So simply meaning, if you don't apply a high electric field, it's in a state of equilibrium. That's it. But the moment this high field electric field is applied now then the state of equilibrium will be disturbed that's it i mean that's that's that should be common sense okay the variation of current as a function of voltage variation of current simply meaning the change of current as a result of voltage now So let's 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 look at this uh, graph over here. Né? Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so if we just pay attention eh, to figure one point two, it says variation of current. There's the current change in current as a function of voltage. Looking at voltage, okay, what do we see? We see that this was something that was studied by Townsend. Yeah? So Townsend was the guy who was studying. Okay, that might mean that he's smart. Good for him. Okay. He found that the current at first increased proportionally. So if you increase voltage, what is happening? Your current is also increasing. And that relationship, it's a proportional relationship. Simply meaning, if voltage is increasing by one, current will increase by one. That's in proportion. Okay, right. He found that the current at first, meaning at the beginning, yeah, it increases proportionally as the voltage is increasing, which is, I mean, there's sort of a linear start off there. If you look at it, that start off there, there's the sort of a linear uh, relationship. So I understand what they would mean if they say that current at first increase proportionally as the voltage is increased and that remains constant now up until you reach the point of i0 
or I subscript zero, which corresponds to the saturation current. Simply meaning, saturation simply means nothing, it plateaus, nothing at that point onwards is happening when you have or provided that you have an increase in voltage. So that's saturation, that's a plateau. Okay, so you have a sense of proportionality up until you reach the point IO. And then from that point, IO now becomes your saturated current or the current saturates at that point, provided you increase voltage. Okay, which corresponds to the saturation current at still high voltages. The current increases exponentially. That means beyond a certain voltage, now your current is increasing exponentially. This is common sense. It's right here on the graph. Okay. The variation of current is a function of voltage as shown in figure 1.2. Now, the exponential increase in current is due to ionization of gas. So this part here, it's due to what? Ionization of the gas. Simply meaning gas getting what? Charged. Okay. Right. The exponential increase in current. Okay is due to ionization of gas by electron collision. As the voltage increases, that means V divided by D increase, and hence the electrons are accelerated more. As the voltage increases, that means voltage is a unit of distance. Distance between your plates as that voltage increases. Yeah? It means the electrons are accelerated more and more. And between collisions, they acquire higher kinetic energy. Meaning the movement now, or yeah, it becomes more aggressive, or it's higher, or it's greater, okay? And therefore, knock out more and more electrons, okay? To explain the exponential rise in current, Townsend introduced a coefficient alpha known as the Townsend's first ionization coefficient, okay, and is defined as the number of electrons produced by an electron per unit length of path in the direction of field. Let n subscript zero be the number of electrons leaving the cathode, and when these have moved through a distance x, from the cathode, these become N. Now, when these N electrons, okay, move through a distance dx, they produce additional dN electrons due to collision. Therefore, We'll deal with this mathematical expressions at a later stage, okay? But for now, we just want to touch the, theor the theoretical parts. The term e to the power of alpha times d. Now, what is alpha? Alpha is our coefficient, yeah, known as our Townsend's first ionization coefficient. So it's e because it's an exponential function there eh? e to the power of alpha meaning our coefficient okay first ionization coefficient times d what is d d is what it's distance for now okay d is what distance okay <clears throat> it is called the electron avalanche and it represents the number of electrons produced by one electron in traveling from cathode to anode long story short you have two plates and you have an electron that is now moving okay a certain distance perpendicular to those two plates simply meaning you have your two plates okay and it's either moving up or down okay and then that movement yeah, it is described that perpendicular movement it is described okay and then that movement when I say described I'm referring to the mathematical significance and that's the thing that we will now get into 
because it's traveling one from cathode to anode simply meaning it travels from one plate to the other plate okay and then something in between happens and then this mathematics it's basically the description of that movement okay because even here now it says To explain the exponential rise in current, Townsend introduced the coefficient A, known as the Townsend's first ionization coefficient, and it is defined as the number of electrons produced. Simply meaning there's a number of electrons that is produced by an electron per unit length of path. That's the length of that path, okay? In the direction of field. Simply meaning it's perpendicular to the field, okay? Now, let n subscript zero be the number of electrons leaving the cathode, meaning there's this... Uh, projectile happening where it's leaving the cathode in the direction of anode and when these have moved through a distance x meaning it's moving a certain distance x from the cathode meaning it's moving from the cathode to the anode a certain distance we define that distance to be x these become n okay now when these n electrons when these n electrons move through a distance dx meaning a change in x but it's a very slight change in x yeah, it produces an additional dn electrons due to collision therefore da, 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 and that's the mathematics that we will look at at a later stage so we'll stop here for now